Hey everyone, my name is Amanda and I'm the Fun Size Reader and today I wanted to talk to you about Flawless by Elsie Silver. You had me at PBR. You had me at PBR and that is professional bull riding, not Pabst Blue Ribbon. I only clarify because my sister actually had to ask me when I said I'm reading a book with PBR in it. She was like, what the hell is PBR? Professional bull riding. I read this small town romance because I was really missing the Houston Rodeo. The lineup came out. I got the email. I was really sad that I am back in California and not in Houston anymore. No more rodeo for Amanda. And it was really sad because I love the rodeo. Okay. I love the rodeo. And reading this book, really gave me those vibes because it was about a professional bull rider who was a little bit too rowdy in his manners and his agent had had enough of it. And so his agent sent his daughter, who also works for the company, to tame him for the next few months so he doesn't continue to lose his sponsors. And oh, did it bring me back to the rodeo. I don't read a lot of small town romance. So to say I really enjoyed this one, like was real. I really enjoyed this small town romance and it made me want to read the rest of her series. I gave this book four stars. I really liked it. There was something about it though that I just couldn't push it up to the five. And I've been trying to pinpoint it for days because I Right, I finished it and have finished other books in between. I just can't figure out what it was. It gave me the feels. I liked the romance. I liked the setting. I really enjoyed the book. Really enjoyed the book. But I don't know why I didn't love it. I don't know why. I couldn't figure it out. Spice rating on this one is a three. There are a few scenes. It's not really a slow burn, but it's not super quick in still love either. But it is spicy and I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> this book had lots of tropes in it. I really liked the use of all the tropes in it. Obviously small town. Then you've got a enemies to lovers because they kind of really don't like each other. She has to be his babysitter. He wants to be on you know, out doing his own thing. He's also kind of a little bit of a playboy. So you've got like the playboy trope in there. You've got the jealousy with the brothers because he's one of three boys. So you've got other brothers in there. Spoiler, the other brothers are the other books in the series. You've got a one bed trope. You've got a, more jealousy like with other bull riders also. You've got the forbidden romance. Like there's so many. There's so many that were in this book and I just really enjoyed it. I really did. While the professional bull riding was a huge part of it, it didn't take up the whole book. Like there was a lot of different settings in the book. There was the small town, there was the business offices, like you, you went to quite a few places, but you also traveled on the road for his competition. So travel, I don't know, is travel a trope? Maybe. This is one that I would definitely recommend to people who like to read contemporary romance. Like I really should have texted one of my friends who is constantly asking me for more contemporary romance because I don't think she's read this author yet and I know she's going to eat it up. So I would highly recommend this author and I definitely will be checking out more of her books. I will put the link for the book down in the description below. Don't forget, you can also find me on all the social media and I'll see you guys next time.